All right, so this is a useless test, trying to get that 500 watts that's stamped on the amp. This is a dynamic run at two ohms. This is kind of like running your engine at red line for a short period of time, and well past the red line actually here. So don't do this at home, friends. This is just for show. So we're gonna do a one kilohertz track, two ohms mono, and we're gonna see if we can get that 500 watts or the amp is gonna go up in smoke. So let's see which one it does. Hopefully we get the 500 watts. Hold on to your hats. Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. What's up guys, BD Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today is a continuation of the last video. Check out this Majestic MA695 Isographite series amplifier from 1997. Has the classic Korean guts from the 90s. Not sure about those caps, look like they might be swollen. Let's try it on the dyno. All right, so we have the amp wired up and fired up and it ain't blowed up. So let's test it. First off, four ohm stereo, 1% THD certified. 112 watts, 110 watts. All we have is rated 250 max. We calculated 60% efficiency, which is about right for a class AB amp. Now let's try two ohms, one kilohertz, 1% THD. Again, all we have is a max rating, but we got 158, 153. Not too bad, 13.92 volts, 50% efficiency, 45 amps pulled. So again, class AB expected here. Now dynamic run at two ohm stereo, one kilohertz. There we go, getting close to 200 watts per channel. 186, 182, still not that 250 by two, but that's a max number. So we didn't really expect that. Next up, we're gonna bridge the amp and for the bridge test, we're gonna try 40 hertz tone instead of the one kilohertz, because who bridges an amp and uses it, you know, one kilohertz, nobody. So we got 286 watts, 14.29 volts, and we pulled 45.8 amps, 43.7% efficiency. Now let's try dynamically simulating subwoofers at four ohms, mono. Again, the rated is 500 watts max. We get 357. 4 ohms, 14.3 volts, so yeah, not quite there. And this is the inrush current, 56.1 amps. Get you some of that slow-mo 90s budget amp flex. What you think about that? All right guys, there you have the test. I'll show the results here of the Majestic MA695. I'm not gonna read these off individually. You guys can read those, hopefully. So overall, I'd say it did about what I expected. I was really impressed actually that it survived the Dino test, to be honest with you. Um, amp is, you know, over 20 years old, Korean built with a, not the best quality components, but did okay if you had one of these back in the day. You know, you were bumping all right with a couple 12s. So, hey, you know, sometimes you go budget and works out all right for you. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video here. Got some cool extra features. Thanks as always for watching. Big D Wiz, I'm out of here. All right, just because I like to have fun and sometimes damage amps, I'm trying to get close to that 500 watts this joker is rated. So we're going to try a dynamic. 2.67 ohms mono, which the amp is not rated to handle. Never do this at home, my friends. You're gonna try it at one kilohertz. See if the amp has got the 500 watts in it. Let's check it out and see, or we're gonna blow it up. You big dummy. All right, so we're close, 458. 14.2 volts. So man, we're close to that 500. What do you say we try two ohms mono? Don't do it D, don't do it. All right, so this is a useless test. 
trying to get that 500 watts. This amp is only rated to do four ohm loads bridged. This is a dynamic run at two ohms. Um, this is kind of like running your engine at red line for a short period of time. And well past the red line actually here. So don't do this at home, friends. This is just for show. So we're gonna do a one kilohertz track, two ohms mono, and we're gonna see if we can get that 500 watts or the amp is gonna go up in smoke. So let's see which one it does. Hopefully we get the 500 watts. Hold on to your hats. So close, We're not there. 469, 13.95. So we didn't get the 500 watts. Obviously that's a peak rating and we're doing RMS test here, even the dynamic burst test, which is only a few milliseconds. But uh, anyway, dang it. But I feel like I just got done time. Still a fun test and still impressive that this majestic amp from 1997, over 20 years old, survived the brutal Dino Test. BD Wiz, I'm out of here.